Hi, this is Gabe from Murrable Online. We're here with our friends from Melbourne West Imagery. Uh, by now, you've probably got council election ballot packs at home. I think the state government's going to be watching this one very carefully. Do get them in within the next two weeks. We caught up with a few Murrable locals we've bumped into down the street and talked to them about what they believe the big issues are. Well, I think there's two very important things we don't need, and that is toxic soil and transmission lines. The two things that I think we really need in this town is an aquatic centre and the development of Bald Hill. I think that would bring tourism to our town. I think the biggest issue is that the council should concentrate more on keeping the infrastructure in good condition rather than telling us what to think. Well, I don't uh, like the idea of the government dumping toxic waste in, uh, in an area especially given that uh, we've got all the gardens here supplying uh, vegetables to most of the state. And it seems as though they want to break up uh, one of the longest avenues of honour in Australia so that they can bring more trucks through, which uh, again is not uh, very good. So I'd like to uh, hopefully vote for someone who's not going to allow that. Well, dust is a major problem for us at Darley that comes from the quarry. Uh, it's a major, major problem. We've had to replace all our uh, inside lines because they got contaminated with dust. I believe that they've got to put some more money into the sporting facilities that we've got there. But otherwise, we're well serviced as far as street cleaning and uh, yeah, most of the properties are pretty neat. Uh, so I think the infrastructure in Bacchus Marsh is really important. Um, I think the council at the moment are giving lots of planning permissions away, not really thinking about the impact of the extra people living in the town. And also the traffic is ridiculous. So it's hard to move around the town at lunchtime, particularly now there's a lot of traffic. Plan ahead, um, build new roads, have new ins and outs and Ezra. Oh. Is she okay? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, so I, yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yeah. Well, the main top issue is the toxic soil because I live in the street, the Geelong Road, right in front of where they're going to um, dump it. So we're going to get the trucks. We already get a lot of trucks anyway. We're going to get the noise. We're going to get the dust and the poison. So that really concerns me. And I know there are uh, something like 2,000 children who come to the school at the grammar and where are they going to go if, they, if the school decides to relocate, which is what they're talking about doing. So that is the number one issue on my agenda at the moment. <laughs> hey, anything else? Um, I think um, it is a concern that they're talking about building these power, um, power, whatever they're called, Tran transmission, transmission lines. lines, but they could go underground and this is the most beautiful town and it's going to get ruined. They seem to choose us to put everything in Bacchus Marsh. So yeah, it's a real worry. And I'm not a great fan of the um, Premier anyway, because he's shut our business down for six months during this COVID um, pandemic.